What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optiponymous coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks over at X06, we're going to be taking a look at their new 1-6 scale Lieutenant Commander Data from Star Trek First Contact. To my knowledge, a new player in the 1-6 scale market, they decided to fill a void for some collectors by tackling the Star Trek franchise. Now, some time ago, 1-6 scale Star Trek figures were started by Quantum Mechanics. It seems that they've decided to move on from that, leaving a hole for some collectors like myself. So when X06 announced that they're going to be doing these, I got really very excited. Star Trek, honestly, is one of my favorite sci-fi franchises of all time. For me, it started with The Next Generation. And one of my favorite Next Generation movies is none other than First Contact. And for a lot of people, including myself, one of our favorite characters has always been Lieutenant Commander Data. So coming right out of the gate by offering us a Data figure from one of the best Next Generation movies, in my opinion, is the right way to go. For the package, really very nice. You've got a gorgeous image of the figure right there, fully showcasing his alternate head sculpt that we did in fact see in the film you got the uh, star trek logo right there star trek first contact and then as you can see this little bit right here bleeds over to that movie poster of star trek first contact absolutely love it the other side here just has that star trek logo up here but then a really nice one that showcases that this is the 25th anniversary of first contact which again to me still is one of the best star trek movies when you come to the back of the package you see all the content you got product shots because you have various warnings contact information all that fun stuff here right down uh, at the bottom section and then it is a slip sleeve style cover so this lifts up just like so and then on the inside you have the uh, the box again you got credits with for me uh does have some familiar names if you want to you can also scan that little guy with your smartphone and get uh, instructional videos about your collectible figures and then like i was so showing you here you do have the open window that fully showcases the figure as well as all of his accessories but for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Lieutenant Commander Data as he appeared in Star Trek First Contact open up and out of his packaging. And this is an absolutely terrific figure. But if you remember when I was talking about the packaging, I mentioned how some of the names on there were fairly familiar to me, specifically the director, David Steven. Now, I've actually known Dave for a few years, but I knew him with his time with Quantum Mechanics. And during his time with QMX, he developed their 1-6 scale Star Trek license. For whatever reason, he left and he became a part of the X-06 group, where apparently the license went from QMX to X-06. So right up front, while the license changed hands in terms of a company, it's still being developed for the most part by the same guy. Which is fantastic, because while it's two different companies, there is a level of continuity between the two. And I'll get into that here in a little bit. Starting off first though, we're going to come down and take a look at his accessories. Starting off first, in addition to two uh, fairly relaxed hands that he has, he gets a right hand that is uh, specifically designed for holding his tricorder, and we'll show that here in a bit. You also get a right hand here that is more designed... Uh, probably for holding his rifle again we'll touch on that here in a bit as well you also do get a pair of fisted hands a left hand that is designed to hold the trigger of the rifle and another left hand that is more designed to hold the regular hand phaser taking a look at that hand phaser it's absolutely gorgeous uh, affectionately known as the dolphin this has a tremendous amount of detail all the way around that really does nicely replicate how the phaser looked it was modified a little bit from the previous versions that we saw in Next Generation, both in terms of the overall shape as well as the size. And you can see that by the previous one that we got with the QMX Jean-Luc Picard. Now, this is what I was talking about in terms of continuity. These all still fit very, very nicely with one another. But you can see that there is a smaller size to the uh, the phaser but that is accurate to the actual prop itself but still very similar looking so again as i was talking about that continuity carries over so if you do have that next generation captain picard that they released through the folks at quantum mechanics it fits 
with other characters that XO6 is doing. They didn't do a lot of the uh, Next Generation figures, which was definitely unfortunate, but as I said, I love the fact that it's continuing on here. Uh, you also do get a holster for it. Slide that right in there. And then, much like what they did with uh, QMX, it's magnetically attached to the suit. So you have this there, and that would just kind of fit on. This, you come around, and you're going to put that... Let's find the magnet in his uh, little section. Oh, well, no, you're going to go around and drop it at Paul. Uh, it's like off on the side here. There we go. So it just grabs it perfectly fine. And then you put that right in there and you help to round out his actual uniform. Again, really very nice. He also does come with a tricorder holster, much like that other one. Again, it is also done with a magnet that you just take this pop that right there sits perfectly fine and then you do get the new tricorder again coming in to take a closer look there is that continuity as i was talking about with the previous one mostly because you can see it is very similar this is a i forgot which type version it is maybe this is like a type 9 this is a type 10 i'm not entirely sure but you can see that there was a slight difference between the tricorders in terms of the uh, regular series and then the movies but what's nice is you have the flap here that would open and again magnetically attach so now you could have an open tricorder you can do that exact same thing with this so again a continuity that is really very cool and because they were different looking i mean coming in so you can kind of see that it makes sense that you're going to have two totally different tricorders absolutely love that little attention to detail great silver paint on there all the buttons and everything look really very nice uh, you, it does kind of look like there's like a sticker for the display screen and then a lot of other really nice paint apps throughout the entire thing but absolutely gorgeous looking and then again you just take this i mean it is two separate pieces so you remove it but you put it there or you can flip it up perfect just perfect and then again, you just bring this over, slot that down, and again, now you have a more completed look for his costume. Just wonderful, wonderful attention to detail. Like I said, I love the fact that that kind of blends with the other figures that have been released. And then he does come with a phaser rifle. This is what we saw him kind of carrying around with uh, Captain Picard when they were going after the Borg and such. Really very nice. Great paint applications on here. Silver, black. You got a little bit of a yellowish mustard color up there. Again, you're going to use the different handles. Let's see. That, that one's going to hold right here. And let's see. Well get that up around there let's play with this a little bit this is the part where my girlfriend would tell me that i'm playing with my dolls what do you guys think are these dolls or are these action figures i say action figures so there you go and the, the fingers are fairly soft so it does help with uh, some posability so you're going to have that and then you're going to have him like hold that there which is absolutely fantastic again taking a look at the hands for the other accessories, his phaser, you're going to hold, let's see, oh, what, what's happening? I'll pull that up like that. You're going to hold in the uh, the smaller hand, so like that, because you're going to want his thumb, because that's how you uh, actually fire it. You're going to have the thumb right there, which that fits perfectly. Absolutely love that. Tricorder, we're going to slide this little guy out, open that up, and then this hand fits uh, perfectly for the tricorder so he's able to go around scanning for Borg absolutely wonderful so all of those accessories uh, you, oh well um, magnets do pop off so you do have all those and then the one really nice one is you do get an alternate portrait I'll, I'll do a, a zoom in on the uh, the other one but this really looks fantastic one of the elements of the show was the borg were trying to get data on their side so they were grafting actual skin to his skeletal structure he was able to feel sensation everything like that and you can see that one of the aspects that really could stand out was the skin tone color now the coloring on the rest of them i feel should be a little bit more pale i don't think it's bad but a little bit less pink 
in there. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I, I feel like he should be a little bit more pale looking. I still think it looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Just the coloring is a little bit off to me. But what I love, and I never noticed this before, is that he's got his normal gold copper color, or not copper, but like the yellow eyes that he had. He's got blue eyes right there. That's incredibly awesome. I never noticed that on the movie. I would imagine that that's accurate. Otherwise, why would they put it on there? But that is really cool. And then you can even see the hair is a little bit different. So here, it has a more brown color, whereas this is, I don't even know, I don't even know if that, that's coming across all that well, but there is a total difference in terms of the color. This just looks so cool. This is a more kind of messy kind of look as well with a lot more waves and stuff, whereas this is very slick back. And then you can see that even up here with the uh, little hair that comes across his face. But even when you take a look at the detail, around here where they grafted this on there you can see the little mechanical section under and that's so incredible and the likeness is superb absolutely brent spiner there that is one of all the way down from his really large nose i mean that is really amazing and like i said data is one of the most popular characters in the next generation so for them to start things off with this and nail it in my opinion is outstanding i love this head sculpt i honestly don't know if i'm going to display him with it on but it is still a wonderful wonderful accessory to have you also do get a display base with uh, two different options now when you have it like this this kind of just looks like it's just the regular transporter pad you just put that on there and it's like he's standing on the transporter pad one thing that's interesting though and i like this you take this off and this whole section here uh, lifts up, pulls away. You can take this piece out. It's just a, a little plastic piece. It sticks on there. And there's like, I don't, I'm not friction, but um, uh, like a vacuum seal on there. You can take this. Now this kind of looks like it's a large transporter thing. And I even like how like the underside here has some nice textural detail. So you can take this put this on there and i'm wondering if they're doing this in a way where you can create a large diorama of sorts uh, so you just plug that right back on there and now it kind of looks like one large transporter pad I, I i'm not entirely sure what they're going with on that uh both i think are great options but i feel like this would connect or something like that i, I i'm not entirely sure the the whole idea of this both i think look really good ultimately i think i'm going to go with um the blue one here for my display uh, I, it, it's so hard to really kind of tell what i'm going to do i mean the, i love the fact that there's options i'm just using this to kind of pull that away so i love options options are wonderful and one thing that they're doing very very well are giving us options you know the extra uh, portrait the different display stand, all that kind of stuff. Really very nice. But the true star of this entire set is Lieutenant Commander Data himself. This is an eye-catching piece. If you are a Star Trek fan, this stands out. Coming in to take a closer look at him. Again, the skin coloring, I feel, could be a little bit better. It's just... I feel like there's a little bit too much pink-ish in there. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. I, I just think it could be a little bit more pale. Maybe that's just my own personal preference. But you can see, likeness-wise, they nailed it. Absolutely nailed it with him. You, you can see he's got the little blue eye there. You got the skin tone and everything. Whereas this is just the regular face form. It, just spectacular. Really spectacular. As I said... Dave has come over and really brought a level of detail to these figures that uh, collectors have been waiting for for years. The costume looks fantastic as well. That would be a criticism that I would say uh, existed with the old QMX ones, that the costume just felt a little bit baggy, and I'll show that here in a bit. This one looks absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. I love how they got the, uh, the gray section. The stitch work looks really good on here. Uh, some of the promo images, uh, it kind of looked large 
and kind of stood out. I think it uh, blends in very nicely here. You got the nice uh, communicator right there. You can see his Lieutenant Commander pips right up on the top section. You can see the two gold ones, and then you have the uh, the darker and colored one. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I don't know if this is a, a zipper type of thing. I'm not going to take it off or anything like that, a little fuzzy bit. But this is the way that the jumpsuit looked, and it looks great. You got the little gold coloring around here. You got the gold color shirt. All the way down, it's basically like one piece, and then you come to the uh, boots. And I even like how they got the little stirrups down here, which allows you to bend things and then keep that completely straight and very clean looking because that pulls down the pants i really like how that they did that but you can see that it is a really good looking suit now for a comparison i never did a review on it uh for for whatever reason and I, i'm not entirely sure why i didn't to be honest but here is my next generation jean-luc Picard and they have already announced that they are going to be doing a first contact version of Picard so this this is I, I've had this guy for a while the biggest thing was I always felt like his jacket was a little bit too big so what I actually did was I kind of overlapped it and kind of uh, used a double-sided tape to kind of hold it down but from the front it pulls it in so it's not big and baggy that was one of the issues that I always had with it so again you can see consistency wise Things work. Obviously, it's one six scale. I don't know necessarily if uh, Patrick Stewart. It's kind of when, when you're looking at it, kind of looks like he's a little bit shorter um, than Data. I don't know if that's entirely accurate. Obviously, I, I, I don't know if Patrick Stewart is shorter than Brent Spiner, but I keep saying that word continuity, and I absolutely love it. Like I was talking about, you have the uh, different tricorder piece right here, which. I get that. Is that the right one? Now, now I'm actually getting them confused and not sure which one is which. Not yet. Okay, that, it's that one. So you can put that there. Again, just magnetically attaches to him. Um, he's got his uh, phaser. Put that there. And you can attach that there. With data, you can do the exact darn thing you can have mr tricorder if you get that reference i'm impressed put that right there just find the magnet set that on that section take his little phaser i'm just uh yeah we we've gotten other star trek figures you know qmx has done them um and i feel bad because i keep talking about qmx and this isn't their piece so i kind of feel bad constantly bringing it up but I think that people are going to look at that as a comparison kind of thing. But if it works, use it. And that's what I feel like David uh, brought to the X06 group. And like I was talking about, uh, I, I know that QMX has released other Star Trek figures, mostly the original series. This, to my knowledge, is the only Next Generation one that they ever did. So to finally get another one, and you got two of the most iconic characters, Data and Picard, both right here, and just wonderful in my opinion. For the articulation, uh, the head down here is on a ball joint, so you get a good range of motion with that looking left, right. I mean, I love how you can kind of do a uh, quizzical kind of sideways turn. That's wonderful. The shoulders have a nice soft ratchet joint. Uh, it does feel like there's a butterfly joint. Rotates fairly nicely. There's not much restriction. I'm going to take these off because they're going to probably keep bouncing off. Uh, not much restriction. Uh, a lot of free flow motion, which is good. You got a double joint here at the elbow. Uh, rotates at the bicep. Uh, you do have the uh, pin hinge joint here, so you get a forward and back rotation. Um, I would imagine there's a, a diaphragm and waist cut down here, which is great. Hips move forward. They move back pretty decently, but again... I, I really like how that's on there because it keeps the pants perfectly straight then when you're done. You do have a rotation up there, which is good. you got a double joint for the knee. You have an ankle uh, ball joint, I feel. Uh, it does feel like the boot goes up a little bit higher. So um, it does feel like there's an extension piece there that allows you to kind of articulate things. So in, in my opinion, like I said, an absolute home run. They, they nailed it with this, and they needed to because... They're a new company out here, but they got the right people on board working on the, this line. And I am super excited. The other thing that I absolutely love, and this is just a, a minor tangent, is the fact that they announced this 
back, I believe, in January. And here we are in June, and the figure is already coming out. They did send me an advanced copy to do this review, but invoices are going out. It's going to be shipping in here in the next little bit. So the fact that here we are four or five months, that's wonderful. And they've already said that uh, the Captain Picard is going to be quarter three. So you're looking at July, August, or September. My guess would be towards the end of September. I mean, that's fantastic. And for a, for a six-scale company, that's pretty much unheard of. But all in all, this guy turned out fantastic. But there you guys are. My look at the new X-06 Lieutenant Commander Data from Star Trek First Contact. Like I said, Star Trek is a franchise that I have absolutely loved ever since I was a kid. And the next generation was that version of Star Trek that I grew up with. So finally being able to get one six scale representations of characters that I've loved almost my entire life truly has been a dream come true. X-06 has nailed it with their data figure. The likeness is spot on. It absolutely rivals any 1-6 scale sculpt that I have ever seen, official or unofficial. The uniform is extremely well done, the tailoring for it is fantastic, and the accessories that he comes with are really very good. You get the really cool tricorder, the two different types of phasers, obviously the extra hands and the display stand, but you also get a really nice alternate portrait. And all of that is wrapped into a absolutely wonderful price. At about $190, the value for this piece is outstanding. Really, I don't know why they're able to offer something at less than $200, but other six scale companies push the limit to $250 for ones that usually don't come with a second head. A lot of those are $250, you get the body, you get that original head, and you get a couple hands and maybe uh, a gun or, or weapon or something. The value for this really does blow me away. So without a doubt, guys, if you are a Star Trek fan, I would seriously consider picking this guy up. Everything that X-06 is doing, be it this or their upcoming Captain Picard, really have me excited for the future. If they're staying focused right now at first contact, obviously I would love to see the Borg Queen. Maybe even a special edition Locutus figure. If they go all in with this franchise, at this level of detail, <laughs> I'll be all in as well. So all of that being said, if this figure is one that you would like to add to your collection, you can pick them up at a couple places online, whether it be the official X06 website or places like Big Bad Toy Store. For both of those places, I'll put links right down in the video description where you can check them both out and check out availability on this guy, as well as anything else that X06 puts out. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Once again, I want to send a huge thank you to the folks over at X06 for making this review possible. If you like this review and like to see more, do me a real quick favor and show your support by simply hitting that thumbs up button. Believe it or not, that one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really very much appreciate it. And as always, until next time, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.